Toyota Champ. So here we have it, the best gaming monitor in the world, the latest display technology. We're talking QD OLED, yes, Quantum Dot OLED. Yes, this is the Alienware 34 inch QD OLED gaming monitor, model AW3423DW. And it's the best gaming monitor out there at the moment. I mean, it all comes down to what you need, but wow, it's just amazing, this QD OLED display. It's just ticks every box but anyway we're going to connect it to a mac we're going to connect the best gaming monitor to the macbook pro and see what happens can i get a 475 hertz and full resolution on this display and stay tuned and make sure you do subscribe because i will be getting a mac studio with the m1 ultra in it and we'll see how it games on this monitor i guess the first thing here is these are both hdr monitors and they're both at maximum brightness they are different display technology you have mini led on the mac and that's 120 hertz it's 175 hertz with the QD OLED on the Alienware here and it's pretty much the first QD OLED monitor in the world so the latest and greatest maybe one day we'll get QD OLED on the you know the Max that'll be awesome but um, what do they look like side by side there I will give you a tip with this Alienware have it in HDR mode and make sure you go into the SD brightness slider which is here and you can slide that up and down to your liking i guess because sd content will look like rubbish if you don't you know crank it up it's just windows doesn't handle hdr very well if you have hdr enabled now this mac does have hdmi 2.0 which is good because the display only has hdmi 2.0 it also has display port as well that's where we're going to try and get the 165 hertz i do have a usb to display port adapter but first we'll try the hdmi let's see what happens so this is plugged into the hd in my and straight away woof it actually works and that's always a bit of a worry sometimes you've got to worry with mac stuff but um let's go into the display settings so what it says there is yes it's going at 100 hertz which is what we want and you can select hdr i'll do that now that's on hdr now that is set to hdr 400 true blacks now i'm going to set it to 1000 nits peak brightness okay she just flashes i'll set this to hdr mode so that is all good to go we're getting hdr and looks a bit dull doesn't it mm, that's very interesting anyway we're getting 100 hertz we're getting high dynamic range let me set this as the main display so this is now the main display so there's no way for me to turn the brightness up and let's have a look at Final Cut. Let's have a look at a project, what it looks like. You can definitely see the Mac display is now brighter. But we're going to do DisplayPort in a minute. So it should be proper HDR then. So this is the review I've done uh, for this monitor actually. And yeah, actually now it looks a lot better. That HDR content does look nice. Yeah, that looks nice and bright, that window there. So... I wouldn't say it's handling it properly. Might have to do a bit of messing about, but yeah, that, that looks good. And look at that, the timeline, wind screen. Yeah, so let's try it in DisplayPort. Okay there, so I've used the USB-C to DisplayPort adapter, and now we're connected to this display. It is indeed showing me 175 hertz, so awesome. But it is in SD mode. Let's go to HD mode. And there we have it. Oh, I actually can see there. The thing about Mac OS is it can actually have an SD screen with HDR on it. So if you ever look at that window and Final Cut, that is definitely HDR. I can see how bright it is, etc. In actual fact, I can see noise there that I couldn't see on my Mac display. Maybe it's just because it's bigger. Yeah, I think it's just because it's bigger. I think that's why um i can see the noise there in that window that is hdr the rest looks a bit dull and like that window is hdr and that's how it works in mac os it works much better than windows it can actually have hdr in a window on a sd display so that looks pretty good right so this is a hdr video let's see what happens now straight away that looks a little bit dull so i don't know that it's handling it that well it looked like it was hdr in the window with final cut but that just doesn't have that pop and vibrancy of true hdr so maybe it's not handling it that well mac os probably doesn't understand the display too much although that little window did look like hdr in final cut so i don't know what to say there that just 
it looks good but it just doesn't have that pop and the way we can tell let's have a look i'll just drag this over to the other display and see if there's a difference all right so just drag that out. oh oh i can see straight away whoa that is definitely more hdr and brighter on that nah definitely night and day difference i can tell so it's not handling the hdr that well hmm that's very interesting i don't know why that is look at that look how beautiful that display looks that looks just amazing the hdr and that's what i see and hopefully you see that in youtube but you're not seeing this on this qd oled monitor even though it is mapped for hdr it's in hdr mode it's nowhere near what you can see on that xdr display and that's not because it's no good or it's not good at showing hdr it's just not showing it properly i'll just have a look at final cut again yeah that window does look brighter than the rest of the display maybe it's just because it's smaller yeah it definitely doesn't have the pop let's have a look here yeah definitely looks brighter in here i think uh, not so much the window but the interface and that looks brighter yeah so anyway that is what it is i will be connecting it to the mac studio and we're going to see some gaming performance on this thing the good news is we do get 175 hertz and hdr is enabled um so yeah so that's good news hopefully we can tune it or get better brightness out of it so it looks like you know the pro xdr display on the macbook pro there but anyway it works usb c to display port getting a full 175 hertz so that means i will get the ultimate gaming experience in terms of response etc on this thing so anyway stay tuned for more on this catch you in the next one tally ho